Hi, I'm Rowan Despande, and this is my video journal on Bakke. Uh, one thing that I found really meaningful and revealing about this is that Dionysus is a god, but he was merciless in what he did to Thebes. And this is a story of revenge for what happened to him when he's basically immortal. And he ended the bloodline of Thebes in what he did. And even though he's a god, he just took out his power on them. And he really had no mercy for Thebes. Which brings me to the next point. Uh, one value for the gods is that they are incredibly powerful and they're far superior to mortals so one example of this is how pentheus couldn't keep dynasties in prison he tied him and he imprisoned him but uh Dionysus used the earthquake to bring down the palace and that like he he, he could not be in prison because he is a god and he's way powerful way more powerful than pentheus also Dionysus drove agave to incredible madness and in her frenzy she just savagely murdered pentheus her son and she doesn't even realize it until Dionysus takes her out of that state so the gods have these crazy powers that are far superior to mortals. Uh, another another uh, value is that fate and destinies of mortals are already determined by the gods. So Tiresias predicted this at the beginning, that uh, if, if you don't respect Dionysus, then he will destroy Thebes. Right? It will be a tragedy doing for Thebes. And obviously this happened and because they didn't listen to Tiresias. And so uh, they had to face the consequences of what Dionysus did. And this was, this was determined from the start. Also, Dionysus gave the fate of Cadmus and the Theban Maenads uh, when he reveals himself, and he just declares them exiled. He said, Zeus's oracle said that this will happen, and so this is to happen, and they just accept it because that's how Greek society was. Um, one thing I didn't understand was exactly what Maenads meant, so I had to look it up, and it actually turns out to the raving ones, and this is an interesting connection because you see how they savagely raved on Pentheus, and they tore him limb from limb, and they were, they were from this... Uh, power that Dionysus gave them in their crazy state and they were just wild and they wanted to break free from what was controlling them and this uh has a connection to how they they're treated in society because they're restricted to, in society and Dionysus allowed them to break free and so it leads me to the next point Pentheus saw them as powerless these maenads and uh what they were doing they're threatening and undermining the strict codes and laws that society sets to control the women and by act this erratic behavior they're they're basically ruining Thebes. And Dionysus said, he, he still saw them as a servant, but there is a power with him. He saw them as powerful. And he could use that power when he, because they're a little easier to manipulate. He could use that power by using his power to drive them insane and liberate them from uh, what is keeping them down. And so this shows that Greek women, uh, they're restricted to their work at home, but uh, they want to be liberated. Just like how Dionysus had done. Elvis on the cover of Bakke was an interesting connection. Uh, because for both of them, Elvis and Dionysus, they had women go wild for them. And they basically worshipped them because Elvis had the style and he was the king of rock and roll, obviously. And Dionysus, he he was all about partying and having fun. So women just really loved that. And like I said before, they just really wanted to break free and let loose. Uh, one question I have is, this uh, this was translated from ancient Greek into English and it rhymes. So do you think that this could have altered the meaning or anything like that uh, with this story? And also, Samuel Dionysus' mother... This is what she would have wanted. Did Dionysus go too far with this? Because this was for her too.